So, I am in Denmark on vacation and uh, really Danish Pete's home turf. And uh, I am, uh, of course, trying out a local brew. It's uh, two Borg Green, Grön. Cheers. Yeah, so I am here and I thought I'd uh, practice my um, jazz guitar skills. <laughs> music theory skills just uh, using this uh, week here um, diving into learning more difficult chords and stuff so it's uh, it's really um, it's really something that uh, it's interesting and uh, it, I noticed one thing that, and that is that um, when you are trying to learn new stuff you get very occupied with the technical part of it, getting your fingers to be in the right places and stuff. And uh, I think uh, you miss out on when you are in that phase, you, you, you are not so concerned about making music. It's just about learning to put your fingers in the right positions and uh, getting them to sound so that it, there's no any strange uh, muffled sounds or uh, uh, yeah so and it takes time to get it, the muscle memory in place at least for some uh, finger placements that I, that is not common for me to do it's really useful this so this week will be filled with that kind of stuff for me but the one ingredient that i think is missing and when making music I think it's really important to put in this ingredient and the professionals do it when they perform. I think also they have these kind of periods when they need to rehearse. There is this other phase or the, the other thing that is performing and when they perform they can go into the comfort zone. What they really know how to play and uh, they are not afraid to play anything. Um, uh, do mistakes or stuff like that because you don't want to do that when you are on stage of course and then they make music and the ingredient they can add to that is emotions and that is something i hear very little talk about and uh, i thought that's a good opportunity for me to talk about it because i think uh, it it's really something you can put into your music from day one or at least when you when you start playing guitar you maybe start out learning a chord maybe D chord typically and uh, maybe you learn three chords so you can play a song and even from that when you're comfortable playing those you can you can really make music and by that I mean that you can go into the character of the emotion you want to convey and uh, you can play it like a happy song. Or you can go into a more melancholic way of it. That, by that I mean that you're more, you're more um, listening into what you do. You listen to how the note ends and the quality of the tones that you play. Yeah, and so on. So. I think that uh, it's a skill that you may have to rehearse also if you're not used to doing that. I, I think f it's not maybe um, you can't just put that into every kind of style of music. I guess like um, orchestral music. Then, then you have sheet music if you're uh, and uh, you're told where to play soft and uh, when to play strong. But when you're alone with your guitar or in a band, or at least when you want to convey some emotions, you can do that, but you need to be comfortable with what you're playing. So, so you have the two, two uh, scenes of your guitar playing, you have the rehearsal time 
you need to figure out new stuff. You need to rehearse and repeat stuff to, to be good at it. But when you perform, when you play for people or you want to perform your song, you want to connect with the audience and you want to give them something, give them a good feeling or, or an understanding of how your song is. That is where I think emotions need to be the part of the equation of making music. It's not just chords, scales and uh, the theory behind it. It's also the feel of the note that you play. Could be me just blabbering about here, but uh, in my vacation mode. But I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's important to do that. Liven it up. That's what it's about. Putting life into your music. So I'll try and uh, exemplify it with playing a song, full of emotions. You can decide if it is or if it's just uh, nonsense. All right. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my vacation. I'm gonna put some hours into rehearsing the fretboard uh, and new things that I picked up in my uh, workshop that I just did in England with uh, Nigel Price. He was opening some doors for me and I need to uh, step into the rooms and uh, see what's in there and uh, really dig into it. But I. Uh, I hope you have a nice summer, you all, and uh, cheers. And uh, see you later on. Bye bye.